Welcome to the first lesson in this module. We're going to look at a different angle. We're going to look at a mushroom from the bottom. Now that's tricky to do, of course, in real life. And I had to find some really large mushrooms to take that photo, but I managed to do so. So let me show you. And there's my photograph. This is a very large mushroom. This cap, this hood is really large. It's definitely twice the size, probably have even the size of my iPad, at least that large, so about 30 centimeters at least. But that gave me a nice angle to photograph from the bottom because this is quite a different angle. This might be the most challenging angle, but we're gonna tackle that. We're gonna do it actually basically the same as the previous one. Let me go back to that yellow. So first of all, we're gonna box this guy. I'm going to need to box it nicely. And with this one, what we're going to do, we're going to actually go to the bottom of our paper. Now, if I look at this box, I'm going to say that is pretty much a square. Am I right? Let's measure that. We can measure that. Huh? Let's get a pencil. Let's see. It is till about the bottom of the pencil. I'm going there. Now it's not a square, see, it is longer. So this is still the bottom of my pencil, this part, this part is quite longer. Now when you're out sketching, when you would like to sketch them live, this is the way what you can do to measure them with whatever you have with you, a pencil, not your fingers. If, no, don't measure like this, but people do it mm, like this because unconsciously you're gonna move these fingers, but get something like a pencil and measure things and then bring those measurements into your drawing. So let's see if my paper is long enough. This is going to be very tricky because I need all of my paper. So I need to make it slightly smaller. The first thing I'm going to just draw in that. There you go. And I'm going to leave that there, but I'm going to make it just slightly smaller. Now the length. It's my pencil plus a little bit. So that's going to be tricky to put my pen. I'm going to put my pencil down. I'm going to look at my paper. I'm going to say, well, I don't have that much room. I'm going to put my finger there to where I want to draw. But I want to draw slightly further. So I'm going there. So this would be the top line. And again, I'm following that straight line there to make a straight line myself. And I'm doing the same here. There you go. Now, this would be actually pretty much almost same size as my photograph. Now, if I zoom this in and out, of course, I'm getting different shapes. All right, so I've measured that. Now, let's see, I'm gonna say the mushroom is not totally in the middle. Let's see if I'm right. This would be the middle. Yep, this would be the middle. See, it's quite off from the middle. So we're not going to go for the middle in this one. It is slightly off. So this side is slightly larger than this side. Let's see. Let's find the middle. This will be around the middle. I'm going to move a bit up here. And trying to find that line. There you go. That would be my stock would be going there a bit outside of the middle. Now, the next thing which I need, of course, is I need to determine where everything goes. Now. No, oh, I got a white pencil, I don't want that. Now this has two, this has a ring somewhere and the hood, the hood stops. So the cap is around there and I'm gonna say that is almost in the middle. So I'm gonna find my middle here. This is my middle, a little bit above it. And you could do the same here, find your middle, a little bit above it, put a dot there and move to that dot. All right, good. Now that's that. Let's see how far this stock goes. If I'm dividing this part I have here into two parts, I'm going to put a point there. Then you can clearly see that is not in the middle. So this would be the middle. It's definitely under the middle. I'm going to put a dot there. And that's where I'm going to put, that's where my stock ends, but I'm not going to do anything with that. The next thing I need is this. Now I'm going to go into that blue again. That's better. The next thing is I'm going to need this point, this reference point. I'm going to say here is the middle and then we need to create an imaginary point because we don't see it all the way. And I'm going to divide this. Oh, that is thick again. There you go. And I'm looking at this. I'm going to say the top half is now 
shorter than the bottom half. There's more behind it. So if I find the middle here, then I find the middle there. I know I, sorry, I don't want to go to the middle. I want to go slightly above the middle. And there we go, create these, these boxes. And now I can draw in my mushroom. And what I'm looking at, first of all, I'm noticing that here it is quite angled and here too. I'm going to draw that in first. There you go. And I'm going to do the same right there. And then I'm noticing that you get a different curve here. And then you get a different curve like that. And then it curves to this point. Oh. Start at this point, curve that in, start at this point, and curve that in too. There you go. Now, this needs a little bit more rounded, and there we have it. Now, with this one, we're noticing, of course, the same as with the previous one, but now the body is on the top. So I'm just drawing that in. There you go. And that will be my basic shape. Now, might not be totally perfect, but we're getting close enough and we're getting the idea. Now, what we're going to do with this one, let's see, we know the stock is here. And I'm noticing there's a curve right there. There you go. If I would draw in the stock, which is pretty straight, let's do that. I would go slightly wider at the bottom too. There you go. Now you get right away that shape. See, looks good. All right. The next tricky part is this part here. We've got a ring here. We've got to first of all determine where the ring is. It is slightly above this line because it cuts off this part of the mushroom, which we've drawn in. We've drawn in that one, but it goes above. So what I'm going to do is we have this box and if I would draw in this box, I would notice pretty much the same again as with this one. So let's say here's the box. I want to have that ring around here. All right. And the top part again is smaller. It's getting tricky now with all these lines. I'm going to draw in that top part first which goes around there you go now I'm going to draw in that back part and there you go but I'm not going to do all the way to the stock and now I'm seeing that here we've got and I'm going to just draw that in that extra part of that ring a little bit like this I'm doing that by eye and now I know where everything goes there you go. Now the ring has, of course, an extra ring in it. I can see that a few more, but let's do one. And there I've got my mushroom. There you go. No, you don't have all of the mushroom, Benjamin. There's a part missing. We need to draw in the gills. So far, we've only seen a little bit of the gills, but with this one, we see a lot. Let's tackle that problem. The gills, yes, the gills. That's going to be a little bit of a problem because that's going to be very interesting with a lot of angles we don't even see. Let's start with the one here. Let's do that one, make it ourselves easy, do it straight. We're going to do a couple of them. Let's do this one. Let's say this moves around like this a little bit. And let's keep that because the gills are going in it. So coming out of this part and that will be the tricky part. Let's look at this one here from that side around there, the top part. I'm just going to draw in a gill like that. And I'm going to do actually exactly the same there. And now the trick is to move from here. Go outside, but make them rounded at some point. There you go. And we're not going to draw all of them in. We're keep to, keeping in them a bit rounded here too. And that way we create that interesting shape. Now we've cut those basically in. The next thing, let's see. 
there is some more here moving towards this point and around here you got that same two moving towards that point and then they, we need them to keep on going with the same angle but moving towards the middle a little bit there you go and here too these are longer and there we go now we pretty much got that well let's put some behind it now you could do a lot of them all small ones or we could just give the impression of some of them like this that choice i'll leave up to you what you want to do there you go whether you want to do all of them or just go with a few of them i'm noticing an interesting line right there and a little bit of a line right there all right good now the shading and the drawing let's see do the pen let's get the pen with it and on top we're seeing quite some scales let's see we're going to do start here and not go sketch all the way straight but once in a while do a little bit of a curve in it so to get a more interesting shape here i'm going to just follow the curve right away and make sure i'm not going over the ring here and there we go now with this one i'm going to do the ring first and again the ring is not totally straight so while drawing i'm bringing in slightly some curves and i'm doing the same here too there you go and i'm doing this one and i'm bringing in this ring too and as you can see again not totally straight because it's it is not totally straight now that's what i've got i've got a stalk here and i've got a stalk there all right and now the next thing i'm going to draw this in a little bit here there you go a bit of that hole we're going to close that later on and i'm going to do those gills i've drawn and make sure i'm imagining them going to the middle so where it needs correction i'm actually correcting them a little bit and there you go same now i'm gonna wait for just a few seconds for this to dry i missed a bit there and now that should be dry i'm moving from moving outward or i'm moving from this let's move from this way And again, I'm imagining them to go to the middle. There you go. Now that is quite interesting, isn't it? Now the top, there's all these scales on it. So I'm going to give that impression too i'm not going to do a straight line again but i'm moving it like this but i don't want to draw in all these scales so i'm going to just add a little bit of an impression of scales here there you go here and there okay that's the basic mushroom except for this part here and i missed that part all right good now shading now the ring i see a lot more rings in it so what we can do we can just add 
roughly just a couple more rings in it like that so good all right shading now here it is I'm, I want it to be really dark down here in here it is really dark too so I'm just more or less these parts I'm coloring in now there's of course shading here and I'm gonna just shade that like that all right and i'm going to do the same here i'm noticing that it's going down and a bit like that so the light is somewhere from here all right and i'm going to extend that a little bit and i'm going to add a little bit of a line under there and i might do the same here add a little bit of a line there all right good and then now you could, if you wanted to, double these a little bit. Create just something a little bit more interesting. give them some as if they have somebody now for the shading for this this would be tricky I'm not sure if I want to do that right now let's think about that I'm going to do this first here I'm going to create a little bit of a line and under here I'm going to create a little bit of a line too and it has some texture so I'm just going to add some random lines here and there to create a little bit of texture now shading I might do around here at the end a little bit to just give an impression where the sun comes from. I'm okay with that. Good. And now if you would want to shade this, you could do, do this quite roughly. So let's see if we have the light from here. So definitely I'm going to take my pencil. What I'm seeing is that... That light moves, let's say, a little bit like this. And this would be then shaded. So what we do, we're gonna hatch this, but lightly and keep them apart a little bit. So not close, close, and now I'm running out of room <laughs> with my arm. There's a stand there, so good. And on the top, what I would do is, I would say around there, I would shade it again to really give the impression the light comes from there. And that's it. More I'm not going to do with this one. The only thing is I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm gonna erase some of these to get these lines back. Because now there's plenty of lines going everywhere from the construction, so we need to take them away. And while I'm talking, this should be drying. Well, it should be dry now. And there you go, there is our mushroom from the top they call this one umbrella mushroom in dutch by the way you can imagine why because a huge i don't think though when it rains that it helps a lot but if you're really small you could hide under it but then you need to be really really small and there you go all right now good now what you could do is here with this one Give it just some extra shading down here, some better shading down there. There you go. That just makes it slightly better. Add a little bit of a line right there. And of course, this is now not shaded. So what we can do, we can do shade this too. At the back a little bit, we've gone here. So now we're gonna go the other way. 
I'm just going to give that some shading here too. And I think I'm okay with that. Good. Not more. Then we ruin the drawing. We'll leave it like that, roughly shaded. And that concludes this lesson. We've now dealt with the tricky angles. Okay, I haven't done my best shading. I realize that. But enough to just give you the impression of light and shadow. But what we focus really on is getting those angles in it. And we've got that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some exercises with this. But if you haven't done this, I would say do this one first and then move to the next lesson.